up everyone? Young Sayo, the Sanahita, here with another K-drama review for you. This is for Cheer Up episode number 11. I'll leave all the information down below in the description box to let you know about this drama, but you can watch this drama on Hulu Plus, Vicky, and Drama Fever, of course. I've got my notes, guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this review. Okay, so Sue Oz in the hospital, and she's receiving messages from all of her friends wishing her well and cheering her up and hoping that she comes back to school. She does come back to school, but before she does, she confronts her mother. And she basically stands up to her mother, telling her mother that, you know, because of you, I'm in this situation right now. So basically, she told her mother that she's not going to listen to her anymore. She's going to go on her, she's going to go and do her own thing, be her own person and not be her mother's puppet. So that was awesome that she stood up to her mother. Also in this episode, another highlight that I thought was really cute was that while Kim Yeol and Yandu were studying for exams, um, she put a note on his forehead asking him to go out on a date uh, to the movies. So Kim Yeol set up this room with this movie uh, projector and a screen and he had it all decorated and the two of them got together and they watched a movie. They were holding hands. It was so cute and romantic. Now, by the way, Ha Jun, by the way, he's kind of jealous a little bit because he he likes Yeon Do. He has feelings for her. So he's a little bit jealous and, you know, he's really shy. He doesn't really say anything. But I'm hoping that it doesn't cause a problem because, you know, he, he's such good friends with Kim Yeol that it would kind of ruin their friendship because they've been best friends for a long time. And then you've got this girl in the middle. So you've got this weird love triangle thing happening speaking of love triangles another thing that happened the highlight of this episode was that you know kim yo's father is dating yondu's mother okay they're dating each other so you know they no one knows that they the, they didn't know that their parents were dating and the parents didn't know of course that their children were dating and, you know, he, the father proposed to um, Young Du's mother, but she did not want to take the ring or anything like that. Again, this is all not knowing about each other. While walking home one day, they met each other. Kim Yo and Young Du were holding hands and they, and they saw their parents and their parents were holding hands. They were shocked. So... They kind of had a conversation and talked to their parents about, you know, asking them, like, are you two together? And then, you know, it kind of dawned on them that if our parents are together, that means we're going to be, be we're going to become siblings. So it kind of made things really complicated. And so the relationship between Kim Yeol and Yondu is complicated right now because they might become siblings. I'm... You know, it's it's really, really bizarre, and it's just ironic that their parents are dating. But so that has to be figured out, <clears throat> hopefully in episode number 12. Then moving on, um, um Ha Jun, his father um knows that the school is under investigation because of the cheerleading club and everything that was going on. He demanded that Han um Ha Jun quit the cheerleading club of course he doesn't want to because his friends are there and he likes it and everything but you know he got bad grades on his report card and he was upset by that so he knew if his grades were bad that his father is going to you know be very mad at him and he was like i said he demanded him that he quit and at first he kind of refused didn't want to and this poor kid got slapped in the face and he also got beat. And this is the part where it really got emotional for me because I couldn't stand the beating. So, you know, like a, a rod, it's similar to a broomstick handle. All right. So you've got Hajun on all fours and his father is striking him across the back with this rod. It was sad. But the thing that really got the tears flowing out of my eyes was when he came back to school and he was by himself and um um Yun Du saw him and uh she asked him what was wrong and he pretty much like brushed her off saying no leave me alone don't touch me she saw that he was bruised on his face uh but as she began to walk away he came he ran uh from behind her and kind of hugged her you know from behind and as tears were flowing down, 
flowing down his eyes, you know, and he said, don't leave. It's too painful. You know, I want you to stay with me. It was so sad. I cried like a baby. I'm surprised I'm not crying right now because that was very, very sad. So, yeah, that happened and it was bad because, like I said, he want, his father really wants me to quit, but his father has such control over him. It's just, ugh, it's just sad. But, like, okay, next up. So, at practice, uh, the coach notices that Hajun is not there. And um, they're asking, like, where is he, you know? And someone said that, you know, his father, he's with his father. But, you know, he, he was told to quit. And he told the principal that he was going to quit. So, he started to go inside to practice, but then he just started flashbacking about some memories and he decided not to. So, at the end of the episode, um, Kim Yul went to find him and he found him alone in the gymnasium and he asked him, um, why are you not at practice? What's going on? And he said, you know, my grades are bad and I have to quit the team. And then... Kim Yo said, no, it's not. That's that's not the only reason. You're you're leaving the team because of Yun Du. So he thinks that he wants his girlfriend, and that's why, because he can't stand to be around those two and his girlfriend because he has feelings for her. So he kind of roughed him up a little bit like this and was like, you know, kind of choking him up. And that's where the episode ended. So we have to see what happens in episode 12. See, I was hoping this wouldn't happen. I don't want the two friends to fight because, you know, they're, they're so close. And the fight over the girl would not be good. But anyway, that's everything in this episode, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Also, check me out, my reviews on Drama Fever. I'll leave the links down below. We've reviewed all the episodes up to date so far. The last two episodes, 11 and 12, will be up by this the end of this week. Also, check out my blog because there will be a more detailed description of this episode in my blog. Also, check me out on Soul Wave as well. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you next time. See you in episode number 12. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please click the link to watch my latest video.